It's a little bit different now, though, because um, Gareth is not a general manager as such, like I was when I was here. I was sort of omnipotent and uh, is doing a much more watered-down version of the that job. Was just because of your redundancy thing, they couldn't call the job the same thing, and he sued them. So. Did you win? Oh, yes. Had to pay you off, didn't they? Yeah, out of court settlement, so quite a lot of money. ka -ching. Wasted most of it, though. No, I didn't waste it. <laughs> Tell her what you spent it on. I released my own single, <laughs> so if that's a waste of money... Well, yeah. it is a waste of money, because it didn't even get in the top 100. Good, didn't want it to. <laughs> Next. How much did that cost, putting out a single? Uh, costs is a bit misleading because um, I, I was paying for everything. I paid for the studio time, PR costs, all myself. Roughly, how much do you think you spent? Roughly, forty-two thousand hmm. pounds. Uh, you know, that's that's all outgoing, so that's not taking into account the money I made from the singles sold. So, uh, you know. how much did you make? Um, well, because I had my own record label, Juxtaposition Records. Um, I was taking the lion's share, so I was making a clear one pound profit for every single sold. How many records did you sell? <coughs> uh, 50, something like that, uh, the overall. Sorry? 150. <laughs> that was mainly to friends and family no, it though, wasn't. and people we knew. And they were only buying them out of sympathy. Definitely not, <laughs> so he's talking. I bought five out of sympathy. No, you bought them for your mates. So. Uh, they're still in the garage. <laughs> Why? Children, when we argue, fuss, and fight, whoa, 